Hi, this is Pradeep. Welcome to another video on my interview guidance series. So in my previous video, I explained how, what are the mistakes are there, why we are not getting interview calls. In this video, I'm going to explain what you are going to do so that you will get more interview calls or what are the things are missing in your resume or some mistakes are there. So I'm going to explain all these things. So completely watch this video. You will get uh, some help from this particular video. Now, this is that we, something definitely some problem is there. That's why interview calls are not there. Okay, so first thing is always upload the latest resume. Always upload the latest resume and don't only like if we, I will talk about in India, don't only restrict yourself on Nokri.com. Upload your resume in mul multiple portals. So you can upload in Nokri, you can upload in Times Up, you can upload in uh, Monster. Of course, the priority is Nokri.com, but there are some in, uh, uh, recruiters are there. They are also posting the jobs in, in 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 different job portals also. So try to add multiple job portals. Those are popular job portals are there. So try to add in multiple job portals and always send the relevant resume. Okay, so don't think that I will create just one resume and same I'm going to circulate everywhere. So it's not that you have to create multiple resume as per the job description as per the requirement and upload that resume and apply that one. So it's not like if something resume is uploaded and you are just going to apply. So no one is going to read your resume. So they will check if relevant resume is there or relevant uh, you have experience then only they are going to pick it. Otherwise they are getting thousands mails. Right, so no one is going to read that resume. Now, if we'll check, uh, the just randomly I picked one job requirement here, and if we'll check here, you will find that there is a requirement of S4 HANA. So here, the desired skill is uh, S4 HANA, and uh, that two implementation is required. So minimum two implementation is required on ECC, and uh, two implementation is required on ECC, and one support project on SAP. So that means it is our SAP. ERP, which is your SAP ECC plus must have one S4 HANA implementation as experience. So that means here requirement is both ECC as well as S4 HANA uh, must have S4 HANA fuel deployment and configurations related to uh, again it is S4 HANA fluent knowledge on all these processes. This is related to our sub ledgers and all uh, controlling then uh, related to our uh, uh, other informations like uh, all the integration so these are the desired skills which is required in this particular profile so that means we have you have to make sure that all these things should be there in your resume let's say you uh, in your resume you have skill is only on sap ecc that means this job is not for you so make sure that whatever the job you are applying or any job you are looking that it is a suitable job for you but make sure that that desired skill should be there in your profile otherwise your cv will not shortlist it so make sure that whatever the job you are applying, it should match with the requirement of the recruiter. Then only it is going to there. And those skills should be drafted in a very beautiful way. That means in scenario wise for case study wise, it should be there. It's not like just you have mentioned like I have completed or I have knowledge as for Hana, something like that. It is not going to work case study. So that's why I always prefer that you should add the different case studies related to your skills and resume should be genuine if you, even if you are going to add some experience it should be genuine i will give one example here for example someone is showing that knowledge of central finance or migration central finance migration completed okay and uh, let's say the experience they are showing that central finance migration completed and the year is 2013 so here funny part is in 2013 central finance was not there so obviously when central finance SAP, they never introduced central finance in 2013, how someone can complete it, the migration in central finance in year 2013. So whenever you are going to add some experience or something you are going to show in resume, make sure that it should be relevant and the in recruiter should find this one genuine. Another example, let's say you have you are showing that I have completed recently one implementation on S4 HANA and I have complete uh, uploaded master. I have seen so many resumes that people uh, uh, can, candidates are showing that uh, LSMW used knowledge of LSMW for master data uploading for S4 HANA. So we know that in S4 HANA we are not using LSMW. We are using migration cockpit. So if you are going to show LSMW, that means it's not genuine. So they, they, they definitely they are going to doubt on that one. So make sure that whatever you are going to show, it should be genuine and it should be relevant also. 
uh, another example like you are saying that I have completed one greenfield in my previous project or my previous project was greenfield implementations whereas when you are showing the roles and responsibility it is related to support so make sure that what you are writing what you are showing it should be relevant and uh, don't make one page resume I have seen so many resumes like uh, uh, it is one page so it should not be like one page so resume should not be too so short and it should not be too long also don't make prepare a resume like eight nine pages so ideal resume should be two to four four pages and in this you can justify your skills your experience your qualifications everything you can justify so don't make it single page or don't make it eight to nine page that is uh, so point number one is your uh, latest skill you need to show and as per the multiple job portals you need to show you need to show that um, your latest skill and it should be relevant resume should be genuine that means whatever you are showing it should be relevant and uh, fourth one is uh, resume should not be too long or too short fifth point is make sure that in your resume whatever you have added you have good command on it i have seen that let's say my friend prepared one resume i just copied it or i just make it save as change the name email id phone number that's it don't do that because let's say your resume is picked now on interview whatever you are declaring that i know all these things in my previous project i configured everything then obviously interview interviewers are going to ask the questions on this so if you are not going to justify those things for example you are saying that i have recently completed my new asset accounting rollout or let's say i have completed the new asset accounting migration but when the questions are there what are the inconsistencies are there or let's say uh, uh, prerequisites before new asset accounting activation point of view migration particularly so when you are showing some skills so I'm, uh, you have some showing some skills then make sure that you have a good command on that otherwise it is going it will go against you so make sure that what what you know actually then you only show like i i have i have seen like people are saying or people are give, i'm getting feedback that without showing all these things we are not getting interview call i agreed but if you'll show like this and you don't have that knowledge then that also going against you so that is also not going to unless rejections will be there you will feel frustrated frustrated so what is the benefit of that if you don't know then uh, first learn it acquire that skill then only show it so make sure that whatever you are showing each and everything you are showing that recently i have completed uh, uh, um, product costing i have completed cost object controlling configurations so i have complete i know the uh, wip calculation variance analysis definitely all these skills are very demanding skills every interviewer looking this informations in i mean this uh, uh, demand is there or they are looking these skills it is good but if you don't know and you are showing all these things then definitely you are going to face the problem in interview because in interview once they are they will they will get to know that you don't have anything so that means honestly they will blacklist you because like whatever they are asking because you just copied the uh, informations or the uh, uh, whatever the content is that that is not genuine that is not the original so what you know only show that if you don't know then learn it first practice it prepare on different uh, work on projects uh, work on some dummy projects different uh, prepare some case studies work on those case studies actually do the experience your skill experience your skill then only go for interview jobs are there uh, different can uh, candidates are getting the jobs they are getting good package but only thing is go with a genuine way so it is not there is no shortcut okay so that is uh, another one and also even if you are completely new or you are going for sap new uh, like sap point of view new but still you have work experience you are working on domain you have a good qualification is there so make sure that those should, things should be reflected in your resume also you should have one linkedin profile because lot of can lot of recruiters directly posting in link, linkedin follow good uh, i mean so if you think like someone is popular you follow them because in their network also a lot of jobs jobs are posted so follow them automatically you will get to know those so you can also directly apply from the linkedin also so definitely make sure that you should have the linkedin profile even if you are not working as a consultant or you are sap consultant aspirant consultant so make sure that your linkedin profile should be there there are few mistakes are also there uh, and uh, as you know like a lot of people they are showing fake experience so i have seen that for example now if you are showing some wrong informations that means you copied some informations from others resume and you are showing the same information in your resume now in your resume you are showing that uh, this is 
the client which I worked and this is my current company the organization okay I have seen in so many resume this type of they are doing and uh, this is my current position this is your contract to hire and this is my current employer and this is my client information now all these informations can be verifiable in backend they are going to verify all these informations through third-party verification agencies in detail now how you are sure that whatever the client information you are showing this uh, XYZ INC that particular project is completed by this ABC private limited so if this one is not correct if it is genuine experience then go for it if it is not correct then you will be in big problem somewhere you got this information maybe from your friend maybe you just you added this one and you applied for that job then let's say you, your selection is also completed suppose then after that once the verification process will be there then automatically they will get everything is not true so that also going that unnecessary like like it's a suicide invitation because your profile will be blacklisted or maybe nowadays you can see a lot of layoffs are there because of this only so no need to show there is a lot of genuine ways are there where you are getting the inter interview calls you will get the jobs and it is try tested it's working so in again in every video i am requesting don't go for any fake experience it is not re your re required to fake experience it's not that easy you are you will show some fake experience and you will get the job even if you are lucky you are going to get the job then after some months maybe it is you, you, you will be fired or maybe in the next job this problem will be there because when you are not going with some genuine experience or you will do because i have seen i have seen i have experienced a lot of people i have seen so many people they are doing this and they are coming to me and these things are happened so better maybe your uh, you will get the result maybe little late but this is genuine and you, you will uh, like it's it's tr i mean something is better late is better when you are we will do a shortcut so that that is what i'm saying and uh, i have seen resume that people are showing that uh, starting from hse qualification it's not required no one is going to in every resume summary should be there and summary should be three to four lines so your skill last project information something like you are just going to sell yourself so your summary definitely in every resume should be there and it should be three to four line very short summary should be there and uh, then so your latest project and when you are showing qualification the highest qualification for example let's say you have completed uh, uh, mba finance so so that information on maximum graduation or if you have recently completed let's say your ca or cma show those informations and don't show percentage if let's say you have scored 80 percent 90 percent then maybe you can sh score if it is not 80 percent then no need to uh, show the percentage if it is 50 percent 55 percent no need to si even 60 percent also no need to show the percentage okay so percentage no one is looking so only the highest qualification and that to be professional so for example if your qualification is become no need to highlight it okay so i hope you are getting my point uh, do, uh, i have given one example for the mistake point of view so make sure that whatever you are going to show everything should be genuine otherwise lots of problem can be happen maybe that's why they will reject in the uh, cv scrutiny phase or maybe after interview also chances are there lot even i have seen like uh, after offer letter also candidates are uh, they they got the mail that your selection cancelled you are not going to join from good companies from cmm5 companies so in back end lot of verifications are going on so that's why if you don't think that whatever i will show and everything will be accepted because now days everything is centralized if one customer is working if you are showing that i am working with this company and if that customer is not your not sap partner or let's say they are not sap customer then that means everything whatever you are showing it's everything is fake so be alert whatever you are doing you can feel free to mail me my email id is there feel free to mail me or you can also send messages for any guidance but go with genuine experience